Good evening friends, this is Kingsley the trainer. Hope you're all doing good. In this program, I'm going to have a worksheet completion activity for CBUZ 7th grade of Velamal CBUZ school. And the student name is Kanan Kritik and uh, he's there with me. So good evening Kanan, how are you? Yes sir, how are you? I'm good Kanan, how are you? I'm fine. Very good. So today we are going to discuss something about emphatic pronouns which is found in your book. And uh, as you know, can you tell me what is a noun first? Uh, okay. A noun is a word that refer to a thing, mm. a person, mm. an animal, mm. a place, a quality, quality mm. an idea, mm. or an action. Very good. So now you know what is a noun. A yeah. noun is nothing but the name of a thing, a person, an animal, or a place. For example, you are living in Chennai. Yeah. So Chennai is a noun or a verb? Noun. Noun. Okay. So your name is Kannan. So is it a noun or a verb? Noun. Noun. Okay. So you are having a book in your hand. Is it a noun or a verb? Uh, I have a book with a verb. Is it a verb? It is a noun. Okay. Because it is a thing. Alright. Yeah. So now we are going to move further and we are going to understand what is a pronoun. So whenever we do not want to repeat a noun, for example, we talked about Chennai, okay. So we say Chennai is beautiful. So now I am going to add one more sentence and say it is also very nice. So here it refers to the pronoun. So I am talking about Chennai but I do not want to repeat the name of the noun again, okay. okay. So that's why it is called as a pronoun. It takes the place of a noun and therefore it is called as a pronoun. So now we know there are a lot of uh, pronouns, different types of pronouns, personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, all that is found in your book, reflexive pronouns. So today we are going to uh, lay emphasis on emphatic pronouns. Okay. So emphatic pronouns look like uh, reflexive pronouns but they are positioned in the sentence only that they can emphasize the subject. For example, can you read the sentence? Okay. Oh, okay. Pron okay. For example, he himself can solve the crisis. 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 Very crisis. good. So he himself. Here, himself is a emphatic pronoun. Okay. okay. He is a is a noun. For he, instead of he, we are putting himself. Okay. And again, read the second sentence. I myself here. Her say so. Heard her say so. You should say heard. Heard. She heard, heard her say so. I might have heard her say so. So here, which is the emphatic pronoun? Uh, emphatic pronoun. I might have heard her. Myself. Myself. Myself is an emphatic pronoun. pronoun. So now you are going to fill in the blanks with the suitable emphatic pronouns. Okay. Okay. Now the first question is, we fell down and hurt. Ourselves or yourselves? Ourselves. Ourselves. Repeat the word ourselves. 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 Not shelf. Okay, it is not F sound, it is a okay. V sound. Okay. So we have to say ourselves. 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 My neighbors are celebrating. They have bought a new blue car. So here the question is, the answer is uh, he or they. So why are we saying they? They means they are neighbors. Na they are they were giving neighbors. Okay. No, no. No, listen. Because here it is plural. Yeah, it's not singular. Singular. So if he is celebrating, then we can say uh, Kanan uh, has bought a new car. So he is celebrating, we can say like that. Yeah. But here my neighbors are celebrating. They have bought a new blue car. The flat we are moving into is on the third floor. Dash, it is very spacious. It is very spacious. Ah, now, now again, it is singular or plural? It is singular. Okay, if I would uh, say it this way, the flats we are moving into is on the third floor. Then we will say the answer is, these yes. are very spacious. Yeah. So singular means we say it and plural means we say these. Yes. Now the fourth question to you, Kanan. Both the dresses are good, but dash is better than dash. This is better than that. Very good. Very good. So moving on. The fifth question. 
Please give this book to Prashant. It is dash his or hers. Oh, uh, yes. His. Why we are saying his instead of hers? Oh, uh, us. Okay. It's singular. So that means it's singular. No, 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 no. Us means we are meaning more people. No. Okay. I think you have not understood it properly. Prashant is a male boy, a male or a female? Uh, it's male. Okay, for a ma male, would you say his or her? Uh, yes. Okay, for example, you have a sister. What is her name? Uh, Harita. Okay, please give this book to Harita. It is uh, his or hers. What you would say? Hers. Hers. Please give this book to Kannan. It is his or hers. What you would say? Yes. His. Now you understood? Yeah. Okay, very good. Sixth question. Is that pen dash or dash? Uh, it's a pen, mm. yours or hers. Hers, very good. Why are we saying uh, yours or hers? Mm. Because uh, it's asking that's yours or hers. Okay, it's throwing a question, yeah. right? Question. Very good, yeah. And the seventh uh, question, Dash is a boy I was telling you about. Uh, the, this is a boy was telling about you. Ah, okay. We cannot say those is a boy because uh, uh, these are the uh, uh, these are the things which I have. I I was looking out. We can say like uh, those. Okay. Now we are saying this is a person. Okay. Yeah. So here we say this. This is the boy I was telling you about. Now the eighth question to you, Kanan. The room dash is not very large. The room itself is not very large. Very good. Okay. Now we cannot say herself because why is, is the room having any li life in itself? No. Uh, then that's why we are saying it is itself. Okay. Yeah. So instead of saying, uh, we say himself, herself, uh, ourselves, all that is, uh, kind of, uh, is talking about a people. Yeah. Okay. So they are life, they are living beings. But here it is talking about a non-living being. So we say itself. I think uh, animals also come on it. Yeah, animals we can say itself, yeah. So the, uh, the, cow, the cows take care of itself, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah, that's good. So ninth question. This is my friend's book. I borrowed it from Dash yesterday. Her yesterday. Very good, yeah. So we cannot say it, okay? Yeah. Because again, it is a human being human. involved in this. And tenth question. Animals often clean themselves themselves say themselves themselves ourselves ourselves yourself yourself okay now you are making mistakes in the v sound yeah okay so you should you are saying your shelves yes. not shelf you should say self self selves self bite your lips for the v self 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 uh, yourselves yourself ourselves ourselves itself itself very good now you say themselves. Themselves. Yeah, very good, Kanan. So with this, we end this uh, workbook. Okay. So I hope you understood what is emphatic pronoun. All yeah. right. So thank you very much, Kanan. After a long time, we are meeting once again. So thanks for joining with us. And please subscribe to Manners of uh, Students to improve your reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills in English on various topics. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.